Welcome everyone to yet another exciting episode of Smarticus. I'm Daz, I'm here in uh, Canberra Studios. It's still a little bit cool here in Canberra, but that's okay. We can cope with that sort of weather. Uh, welcome. If it's your first time uh, watching the program, there's been a few episodes before, but stay here and watch this one anyway, because this might be the one that hooks you. Uh, for those who, who have played along, you'll know the rules, but let's sing along anyway. First of all, you're here with a group of hosts who pretend like they actually know stuff, but really we don't know. To prove it, uh, each host gets to ask a question. And every other host, if they get that question right, they score a point. Uh, the original host who asked the question also scores a point for everyone who gets it right, unless everybody gets it right, in which case the question was way too easy and they weren't being smart at us enough as it was. Or in my case, I'm still not going to get any points because no one seems to get my questions anyway. That's fine. I can cope with that. Okay. So <laughs> here joining us Please today... <laughs> Here joining us today, we have Mr. Mispronunciation himself, Josh. We have... For a chair, <laughs> oh, we've got the turnaround, okay. We, we have Von Villain number one, Keenan. <laughs> we have Von Villain number two, Justin. Oh, oh he's, got a, course, he's got a prop villain thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> and because he was so successful last week, we won a chance to be able to get our pride back. We have Lee joining us this time. Oh, no, Bond villain. No. We, you well, had to turn your chair. Fine. Yeah. yeah, there you go, there you go. <laughs> you in reverse. Okay, and you Bond villain number three. He's done a soul. <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one of us who can actually play a, a Mr. Bond anyway, being British. So... Yeah, this you know, true. you've got that over us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, technically, no, and here's a trivia question for you. Uh, George Lazenby, who was an Australian, played James Bond. 20 seconds on the clock. 20 seconds on the clock, is that true or false? <laughs> <laughs> it actually wasn't a, an actual James Bond movie, though. It was made through a different... Did they didn't get the licence or something. I remember having this disputed trivia night. Don't don't uh, keep this in the show. This is Lazenby just... wasn't an official Bond. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, there was another there's another Sean Connery where he wasn't. That's so cool though. Can we stop with these facts? I'm gonna have to check that <laughs> out this week. Okay. That just, that's, we've got people just searching Wikipedia out. left, right, and center now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey. <laughs> oh, what a time, awesome. that. I'd like to talk uh, about what used to be Australia's largest company. And to help me out here, I've got a little dwarf. And his name is BHP Dwarf. <laughs> or Garden Gnome, perhaps. All right. So my question is, what do the B and the H stand for in BHP? I'll give you P is like from a proprietary company. Okay. What do the B and H stand for? Starting the clock now. I'm, I'm feeling confident this time. I've got a feeling that someone, someone's got to know the answer. Someone's got to know the answer. And also props to my dad who uh, actually asked me this question during the Time's up, ladies and gentlemen, write in your answers. Thank you for that. Okay, so let's start with uh, Josh. What do you think the answer is? Let's start with, I have no idea, so let's try and be funny instead, and that could be... Could get bad. points, could get points. Could get points. I said, uh, barely human. Barely, barely human. human? Yeah, yeah. The barely human... And as you can see, they've got heaps of laughter amongst us. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I chuckled. Now Keen is laughing. Yes. There is a delay in Queensland, though. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, it's like not, it's, it's not internet related. So, Justin, what's your answer? <laughs> uh, well, I've actually been there, um, right. and I probably didn't know that it was BHP where it was founded in that uh, lovely little town in the middle of goddamn nowhere, Broken Hill, ladies. Broken and Hill. Yes. Could that possibly be the answer? Let's see what what Keenan's put. Is that a clue? <gasps> <Two! Ooh. laughs> oh, oh, man. I'm trying to be funny. Dad's just going to clean up here. <laughs> is it my <laughs> birthday? Come on. Prove it to me, Lee. Prove it to me that you know the answer. Yeah, no, I, I put Broken Hill. Let's move on. 
Hahaha! <laughs> <laughs> no, really, what did you put? No, in, uh, in keeping from last week, I'm going to make this my theme, I don't care, and I'm not supposed to, but um, I just did a... I, mm, it's supposed to be a smiley face, I'm not sure it is. And then just wrote Briti British, British Helium. <laughs> British Helium? Yeah, because no, yeah. I've got literally no idea. It's a very Australian question. <laughs> Very, uh... It is. Yes, it's a nice Australian question there. And uh, yeah, the answer was, of course, broken. British down. helium, oh, I thought oh. so. <laughs> Excellent. Lee, trust me, we all wanted it to be British helium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a gas. <laughs> can I just say, I, 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 I tried to go for comedy points by going Benson and Hedges, but then I thought, no, we can't do that because that's advertising cigarettes and I thought, no, you can't do that because we don't want to advertise This is not, not Formula One from the 1980s, mate. And I just think, like, yeah. <laughs> This is not the cricket from the 70s. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this is trivia in 2020. Brought to you yeah. by Heineken Lager. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what about Keenan? How about you uh, let us know a few more, uh, a bit more about you and tell us your particular question. Yes, I got to say, I, I, I cast my mate accent last week. I didn't actually tell you where I'm from. Uh, so obviously, you know that I'm from Brisbane. I'm working now in exclusively for Welcome to Bowen Hills, uh, which is one of my favourite venues to work through. We're getting like 90 people a night. Uh, really hard to yell out at the beginning of the night. Good evening and welcome to Welcome to Bowen Hills. So uh, yeah, it's. Uh, it's it's pretty tough. I, I I can't get used to it, but um, Ding, uh, <laughs> here is my next question. <laughs> besides besides unlucky, what do you call a castrated horse? Besides unlucky, the animal question. What do you call a castrated horse? Time starts now. Twenty seconds on the clock. Here we go. Two seconds on the clock. Three seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> One second. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Pencil down. Hands on heads. No, it's okay, but no one's allowed to draw pictures for this one, okay? <laughs> um. All right, Lee. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, Justin. We'll start off with Lee. That's okay. <laughs> 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 Lee, what do you call uh, <laughs> a castrated horse, apart from unlucky? First of all, I drew an ambulance. <laughs> because I didn't know how to draw a vet's car. I don't know how they work. And then, are you ready? It's a Bob Gelding. Ooh, nice. <sighs> I get Even it. If it's not it's right, it works. Yeah, no, <laughs> I reckon that could get a point, ladies and gentlemen, for the humour. Yeah, oh, yes, of course we do do points for humour, don't we, guys? I'd like to nominate yeah. that ambulance for, for a point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd like to nominate myself to you, said ambulance, to go and get this head sorted. Call <laughs> <laughs> an ambulance, that's brilliant. All right, Daz, what do you got, mate? What do you got, Daz? Okay, so. Um, I, I had to think, and I thought, well, obviously the answer is Marsha Hines, because <laughs> as Marsha said, something's missing in my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm in that level of a voice. So uh, that's what a horse is going to be saying. Yeah, and don't be a naysayer. I like that too. <laughs> that be Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. <laughs> Josh, what do you got, mate? Please break up the song. <laughs> <laughs> um, you get to see my excellent drawing skills. I didn't even write anything. I just drew a horse. This is the worst horse ever because he's only got three legs as well. I don't know how he's supposed to walk around with three legs, um, but he somehow manages it. And the, the legs are also like you know really pointy. So like. <laughs> so which side's the head? Uh, well, <laughs> it's obviously that side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously. 
Okay, so obviously that was a really bad bet that cut off more than uh, yeah. <laughs> with a leg as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's left? <laughs> uh, Justin, you're left. <laughs> uh, I just had to go for Stumpy at the last second now. I had to. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Can we just give poison to everybody? That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so are you nominating that for a... <laughs> but the special mention to, uh, to Lee. I, I, I yeah. must say, I'm bloody curious to know. Yeah. No, Lee actually got it right. It's a gelding. Gelding. Let's now move very soberly on to Josh and uh, uh, let's get your question. Yeah. Well, okay. First off, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm Josh. I'm in Canberra. I do Canberra stuff. It's fun. It's really, really great here. It's what a so great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, I've got a question here. I've got a dog staring at me in the corner. Um, <laughs> I've got a Is question. Is that your question? Yeah, yeah. yeah, no, no. Uh, um, false, it's a cat. False. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got a question. By his drawings, Justin, it could well be. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a question about uh, The Legend of Zelda. Now, Ooh, there is an official man. timeline for The Legend of Zelda, and uh, the timeline splits into three separate points after the events of what game in the Zelda series? Go. I don't is know how it? well this will be uh, taken. I don't know if I'll get any points for it, but so after the events than... of one game in the series, the timeline splits. What game so is it? We're after the game. 20 seconds on the clock. Three seconds on the clock. There's our 20 seconds. 20 I have another three seconds. seconds to write something because I know I haven't read anything. Well, okay, considering that Daz is the only one that's actually looking at the camera right now, uh, <laughs> we'll start with you, Daz. <laughs> so I'm just going to go with the my favourite and only game of Zelda I've ever played, which was on the N64, and Ocarina of Time. With my little, right. little thing there. All right, all right. Let's move on to Keenan. <laughs> well, okay, timeline splitting. I'm not familiar with Zelda. I know it was one of, one of uh, the comedy great Robin Williams' daughters do the voice for that one. Uh, but I'll well, that's a lot of inside information. <laughs> I know, right. so you don't know about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know that much. But well, I, I do know, know that it was created by... <laughs> <laughs> But if I go back to uh, that time, <laughs> get out of here! Kick. Just give us the correct answer already, will you? 1987. Um, That's not a band. By Cher, if I could turn back time. <laughs> just a just a question for you, if I if if you don't mind, Kenan. Um, so you mean if I could turn back time, the song by Cher that was brought out in 1989? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got their timelines mixed up. All right. I think what I think what Ken is trying to say. First of all, can I just say, Daz, Daz, you have brought this show alive to show how stupid we are, <laughs> and I think and you're doing that right now. <laughs> We're all, all right. Doing our job. Let's move on to Lee. Lee, what have you got to say? Nope. Nope. All right. <laughs> Justin. <laughs> So I've never played Zelda, I'm not familiar, I've heard of it. I might have seen it on a bus stop somewhere being advertised. So I just thought maybe Zelda needs a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she probably does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I definitely relied on Daz for this one and yeah, he got it right. It is definitely oh, well the of time that splits the timeline. Uh, well, Lee, what about you ask us the next question and hopefully it might be one that uh, people would have some knowledge about. Let's well, I mean, I've got knowledge about it. Does that work? Well, that's <laughs> possibly not. We'll have to see. All right. Which country was the host of and winners of the first ever FIFA World Cup? Hmm. The host of and the winners of, and they've only won it this once. So they won it once, the first one, never won it again. They won their first ever one at their own country and never won it again. Never won that it sounds again. like England, Lee. And the... <laughs> <laughs> it's not, is it? I'm going to... Should I write this? Don't, if you write England, I will not film another episode with you. <laughs> Time is up. All right. 
Well, let's see from, let's go from the bottom of the pile to the top this time. Oh, so that'll be not me. This, <laughs> is that, not, not brain cells wise, Justin. Um, Daz, <laughs> we are at the bottom of my screen. What are you going with? I put Italy. I, I honestly don't know the answer, but I thought, well, you know, I'm not going to say England because I have more faith in England than that. Now don't, we have only won it once. Uh, wasn't the first one. Yeah. Who knows? Keenan, do you know? It is not soccer. It is football. Am I right, Lee? Am I right? 100% that is one bonus point for Keenan. <laughs> right, thank you very much. And I think it is Uruguay. Oh, uh, Uruguay? I'm going to the Americas. <laughs> so we're Don't call me that. Uruguay. South American. <laughs> Justin. I went to the Americas as well, but I went to North America. I went for the Mexicans. Mexico, home of some fantastic players over the years. Huh? Ivan Blanco, the most famous, and Josh. Uh, I don't know, so I decided how much can I really, really, really annoy uh, Lee. So, um, yeah, I did exactly what you oh. thought that would be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I said it, but I didn't write it down. <laughs> yeah, I was already <laughs> writing it down when you said it. <laughs> it, is, it is different when it's in writing. It counts. <laughs> Unlike the points that you've got, Josh. Oh! Uh, <laughs> That's it, you've got an enemy for life now. But the correct answer, one of you has correctly identified it. Keenan! So last but not, uh, definitely not least by a long shot, we have Justin. Oh, you're too kind, Justin. Oh, I, I wonder who he's talking about. Um, okay, we haven't had music, have we? So let's try a music question. I like this one. So. A bunch of musos went to a cafe called Starbucks and they were trying to think of a band name. Now, we've all heard of this band name. They came up with it when they received change from the lady at the Starbucks after they bought a round of coffees. They got their change and went, that's a great name for a band. Let's call ourselves that. Who's the band? 20 seconds on the clock. We all know this band. We've all heard of them. We don't all like them, though. Two seconds. There's my buzzer. And we are out of time. Has everyone got an answer? A band? All right, Daz, what have you got for me? Have you got five words for me there, Justin? Five words for you? No, yeah. I don't. Ah, <laughs> very nice. Are you sure you don't? I, I believe I do, actually. Are we having fun yet? It's currency. It's Nickelback. Give me five, baby. All right, that's interesting. Nickelback. I said it was a band that we've heard of, Daz. <laughs> Josh, what have you got? Just like reading Daz's there, I'm just like, I had a brain fart. I have no idea. And then after Daz says, it's like, oh, actually. Um, I have I mean, no idea. Um, so so obviously, said, this is how I remind him. I just, yeah, yeah, sure. it'll be you reminding me. I just said that. I don't know how recent or how, like, you know, how recent. Yeah, 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 that's so, right. Like, yeah. That's right. I could have thrown in a decade for you. Mm. In, uh, five in fairness songs. to you, though, Josh, I mean, the amount of times I've bought a Starbucks coffee and they've gone, oh, thank you very much, sir. There's your five seconds of summer back. <laughs> <laughs> it's... <laughs> No, I'm not saying you're wrong yet. I, I don't know. Hurry I'm just, I'm just saying. Yeah. Hurry up with the lot time. You're waiting five I'm trying, seconds. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Keenan, what do you reckon? Which band? Oh, uh, well, I thought it might have been 50 Cent, but I thought, no, that's oh, just yeah. my dude. Uh, but now he's an actor now, so, yeah, so I thought, well, he's famous. So uh, when I went back to a band years ago, I didn't like it, so I demanded my Nickelback. Aha. Uh -huh. Geez, two for Nickelback. Shame on you two. Lee, what do you reckon for the band? Well, first of all, uh, a ladder. Oh, yes. Uh, and a chicken. Yes. And Nickelback. Oh, I'll take the three points. It is indeed Nickelback. <laughs> so, two drawings for the price of one me. there. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, that was my brain fart going. <laughs> How did you go at home there, everyone? Did you manage to... Uh, uh, get all five questions right. Hopefully you did. 
Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this particular episode. Tell your friends about it. Tell your friends about the online. Also, tell your friends about uh, all the different clubs and venues that we go to. Uh, we're trying to get to more venues as, as we go along, um, as the restrictions continue to ease. Until then, though, I've been Daz. I'm here with uh, Josh, Justin, Keenan, and Lee. Bye, and Bob. we'll all see you, maybe, depends if we want Lee back. But uh, we'll all see you next time on Smarticus. I'll leave you hanging, Keenan. Give me a high five,